10 o'clock, feeding for the guap, I'll be beaming. Okay, I'm starting off this vlog a little bit ratchet on my phone. I forgot to fucking film on my camera. I'm going to get my lashes done. This is about to be a glow up vlog. And um, I'm so excited. I will get some footage of me getting them done. You guys will see. Our Instagram is Diva Lash. I'll leave it linked below. And this is the fit today. Cash is so it's only a moment. So how many moves have shown Here now I don't really know quite why So here now Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're here, you're here. We here now, nigga What up, move? Uh. They thought I wouldn't make it, but I'm here God help me hey Guys, I had to document before I go to the thrift store Because I'm in the best fucking mood it's my best friend Matea's birthday. I'm gonna style an outfit for her, bag, purse, jewelry, everything. If we don't find anything at the thrift store, I'm gonna have to go to another one. I'm gonna get her flowers, wine, like, it's my baby's birthday, okay? I genuinely don't think I've ever been this excited to go thrifting, like maybe, but this was next level. And it started off on the right note when I found a leather trench coat that I've been looking for for, I don't know, like two years. And then I found this super cute baby tee. This was one of the only little tees that I actually found. You guys know I always look through every single t-shirt, every single tank top, everything, because things are put in weird places and you can never be sure. I also found this pantsuit, which I thought was so cool. I was kind of imagining a shoot with it, not necessarily to give to Matea. It's not as wearable as the outfits that I did get for her. And every single time I've gone to Valley Village, I see these crazy, just so, so tacky ball gowns or wedding dresses. And I definitely want to do a shoot with those as well. And they even have matching ones sometimes, which would be so crazy. They are $35, a little bit steep, but you know i don't even think i have to say anything about this dress obviously it's extremely wrinkled i absolutely love the brown the fit the length everything about this dress was exactly what i was looking for always look at the homeware stuff still have yet to find really anything i was debating on getting this for so long but i did come to the conclusion that it's haunted which i always do i'll find something that i kind of like and i'm like mm, probably haunted this was a little bit grandma vibes like you could definitely make this work with a slick ponytail very sleek outfit but it wasn't like I wasn't 100% about it and I was about the other things I ended up getting. This bra is just like game over. Obviously I copped that for myself. And then I was thinking about dyeing this skirt. Obviously pleated skirts are super in. I wasn't a fan of the color of it, kind of like eh. But if I were to dye it black or something, it'd be super cute. I've never seen DC brand jeans. So when I saw these, I actually died. Like that is so funny. And they're low waisted. I found dead stock, dark wash, a wide leg, checks all the fucking boxes. I got these, spoiler alert, bitch. These are the cutest jeans I've ever found at the thrift store and I had to get them away. <laughs> okay, I find Miss 60 almost every time I go to the thrift store and I'm not even trying to flex because it's always fugly. Like these are capris. What am I supposed to do with capris? I could have got them and made them into a bag or something, but I'm just like, okay, I have too many jeans to do that with. And I always just find ugly Miss 60 stuff. This is hands down probably one of my top thrifted bags. This, oh my, I can't. Like, I want this bag so badly. But I did get it and I gave it to Matea. I, oh, it's amazing. Like, everything about it, the color, the shape, the straps in the front, it's so fucking cute. And then I have some random little accessories. This hat was from Gap. I decided not to get these earmuffs because they kind of were like weird on the band. You guys know how it is in the Dollarama hair section. They have such cute shit. So I was just checking everything out. I didn't end up finding anything, but I had to get her a little birthday hat, some wrapping paper, bags. Then I headed over to a little vintage shop near my house. And I thought these were so funny. They're just embroidered sayings i have been wanting a film camera for so long and they have like an abundance of them at that store so i'm gonna go back also gagged over all of the vintage sleepwear which i want a whole collection of okay guys i could literally i'm in such a good mood i'm so happy it's my best friend's fucking birthday i woke up today and i'm like it's my birthday bit. like it's not my birthday but anyway okay i want to show you guys everything i picked up and then i'm going to be giving to her for her birthday starting off with the fucking cutest wrapping paper you've ever seen i'm like not a bag person to give gifts in i always individually wrap everything but since there's a lot of different items i did get a bag to put everything in 
I have some hot pink tissue. I will be showing you guys when they're all wrapped. And some cheetah print tissue because we're not, we're really not playing. Like. And then I had to get her a little birthday hat. So I'm gonna attach this to the bag and have it just like hang off and be really cute. Okay, so what my kind of like gift idea is, is Matea always talks about how she wants me to style her and I thought her birthday was like the perfect opportunity to go to the thrift store which is where my entire wardrobe is from. Thrifting for someone else is very challenging because there's only one item and like they're all cute and I want all these clothes but obviously it's her birthday so I'm giving them to her. But yeah it's just funny because when you shop at a regular store you can obviously buy yourself the same piece and then you guys can twin. But this is all for her boo so I'm really excited to give her all of these pieces. I did two outfits. The first thing I got her is this brown dress which I've actually been wanting. This exact dress. Collared really tight mini dress. It's just everything. It's so cute. I know she'll really really like this and I don't think she has any sort of dress with a collar or anything even kind of similar to this. And then with this dress we're going for this pink and white bag which I literally saw this and I was like stop monogram straps everything it looks exactly like an MCM bag that I used to want really badly um I absolutely love this and also it has copper hardware which is the same as the dress it has like little copper things for the sleeve to roll it up this together is just like are you fucking kidding me so amazing and then I got her a little silver charm bracelet so this has has a star on it and it's just like super dainty. So that is the first fit. I'm absolutely obsessed with it and I know she's gonna love it. And then I picked up this adorable baby tee. So it's white and has red contrast stitching. It says ice gear on it. This is the best material for baby tees because it's super tight and just like fitted. But yeah, I was obsessed with the stitching and the fit of this. And then these jeans are the best fitting jeans. They're also dead stock. They're brand new jeans from the brand Santana. I put these on and I was like, oh my god. I obviously tried this shit on to make sure it would fit her because we're like the same size. But um, yeah, these jeans are just absolutely the cutest and most amazing fit ever. They're this dark wash, super long and wide leg, just like my perfect jean. I'm I'm excited for her to have these. Yeah, these are fucking dope and I know she's gonna love them. So I picked both of those up for her. And then I had to get her Reese's, which is definitely one of her favorite chocolates, also my favorite chocolate. And then I got her champagne, and I made her this really cute card, like, honestly, I'm gonna focus it because it's that cute. This just, like, levels up any card. And then some pics of us. But I'm here, God help me, I didn't overcame all my fears Big ear, nigga, go off what I see and what I hear And from the sound of things, I'm the man among my peers, yeah Yeah What up, Ju? Whoop Yeah uh. They thought I wouldn't make it, but I'm here God help me, I didn't overcame all my fears Big ear, nigga, go off what I see and what I hear and from the sound of things, I'm the man among my peers Look, focus, not disturbed on my drizzy shit Turn my phone on, do not disturb when I'm busy-ish God, my only judge, I know who the jury is Y'all beat around the bush like George, so now I'm curious I literally can't, this is so amazing I'm so happy How cute, guys how freaking cute. I'm Brandon Roy with the last shot. His like my name was Troy. Palomalu or Troy Bolton. This here a musical. Back in high school, apples to apples, Isaac Newton flow. I'm done with Ivy League, but been trying to avoid the cubicle. Too much like a cell, can't be boxed in like the usual. Another cage, bourbon mute, so let this dub.